All right, ladies and gents, here with Chris Moss. We're at our 2020 strategy day. We've finished three months worth of strategy. And one of the reasons I wanted to pull Chris up was because uh, his business is actually non-property related. And I wanted to talk to him about how he's found the process, applying it to his business. So we just spent three months uh, on strategy. You made the stage today, congratulations. Thank you. How have you found the process? Yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. I've learned things in terms of structure, uh, even though some of the stuff is property structure, the structure that I can apply directly applies to to, to my business, which as I said is totally not property related. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been good. Really and good. after drilling down for three months, putting all these ex well, you, you showed today all of the tools, all the exercises, all the models, how you're applying them, in real terms, what, what changes is that gonna make to your business? What differences is you what change decisions you're making? I think the, the, the key one is the clarity on where we're going and, and what we're doing. So rather than chasing a number of different revenue streams a number of different areas. I've got real clear clarity now on exactly what strategy I'm taking what I'm going to do. So now I can draw this, this, this line in the sand yeah. at, and, and play 2020. And do you think previously did you and your team and everyone have absolute clarity where you were going? Uh, no, not in the same way we do now. Um, yeah, we, we had some sort of clarity, I like to think. Yeah. <laughs> but not, uh, yeah, it's now a lot, lot clearer. One of the issues that we find with entrepreneurs is that we're all very creative, we're shiny penny, you talked about it today, you know, going on to the next opportunity, sometimes you're better to, the best place to walk, like people say the grass is greener on the other side, or actually the grass is greener where you water it. Um, what would you say to entrepreneurs who are watching this that don't have that clarity, they're chasing the shiny penny, they're always on to the next thing, now you've got that clarity, how would you recommend they approach it? The, the, one of the biggest things I've taken from the three months um, that, that, that we, we talk about is slow down to speed up. And I think that would be my biggest advice that I've taken from this and I would pass on is for people to slow down yeah. to get that strategy, to get that clarity without feeling bad for doing it, which historically I'd plan for a day or two, but that would be it. I think uh, a lot of people watching this will resonate with that, you know, we move a million miles an hour, we're afraid that the business is going to starve to death, we're not going to make enough sales, so we keep driving it and driving it. The reality is more businesses choke to death than starve. It's all about, it's not about turning the tap on, it's about keeping the water in the bucket. And if you can go an inch wide and a mile deep rather than the other way around, you know, that's where your businesses are going, that's what Chris has achieved over this course. So congratulations. Thank you. Well done on making stage today. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck for this Thank year. You. Cheers, Thanks, Chris. Thanks.